With Graham, everything was perfectly fine with him. When we got to about 20 weeks, we had our anatomy scan. Um, he looked fine, I looked fine. I did bring up some concerns with preeclampsia just because my mom had had preeclampsia um, with me and my two older sisters. About a week later, I had some swelling in my fingers and in my face. They wanted me to go in to get checked out. Um, they monitored me, they said everything looked fine, they did blood work, um, and then they sent me home. The next morning, I woke up, I had a really bad headache. My swelling had increased significantly. And um, at that point, my blood pressure was a pretty big concern. Things kind of progressed for the next few days. My lungs were filling up with fluid. I had fluid around my heart, and then they did more blood work, and they found that my kidneys, my liver, and my heart were shutting down. So at that point, they airlifted me up to Barnes Jewish Hospital up in St. Louis. We didn't know what to expect. We had no idea what was gonna happen. You're on oxygen, you're, you're dying, things are not going good, you need to deliver. And we were like, I'm, whoa, what is happening here? Given the circumstances that two days ago, we thought that, you know, I was going home the next day, and then that day I was being transferred up to Barnes Jewish. Mm -hmm. um, it was not the mindset that we thought that we were going to be having a baby and now you're telling me my baby's going to die. At the moment I couldn't really process and I don't think you could process what was going on. Babies being born at 22 weeks, you know, viability is 24 weeks. You know, Graham probably would have been blind, deaf, if he would have survived. The quality of life for him because of his weight when he was born would not have been there. So we decided to just hold him and care for him. And they didn't expect him to live very long when he was born, um, but he lived for two and a half hours, which is a lot longer than what they expected. They only expected maybe 10, 15 minutes. Everyone got to meet him while he was still, you know, breathing on his own. And so that was kind of, it was cool for that to happen too, and so. Yeah. I didn't know on Angel's Wings was a thing um, at that point, um, but the nurses did take pictures of Graham for us. I found them just happening to go on Facebook one day and I just had found their, their page. Graham's birthday was, or his due date was coming up and I was just researching something to um, like honor his memory. Um, then when we found out that Harper had a heart condition, um, I reached back out to see if we could get services. Due to how sick I got with Graham, I was automatically considered high risk. Yeah. Um, so we had anatomy scan up at Barnes Jewish, I think about 18 weeks. And the doctor came in and said that she had a heart condition called Tetralogy of Flow. At that point, because we had already lost Graham, I was not in a good state of mind. I don't know how to process this information. Again, I've already been through this once. My brain physically cannot deal with losing another kid. And we did the fetal echo. They changed our diagnosis from tetralogy of flow to tronchus arteriosus, um, which is basically... One of the rarest heart, congenital heart defects that you can have. Yeah. They did say it was fixable. So basically, your aorta and your pulmonary artery and your heart never splits when your heart is developing. So they go in there and they separate them and your pulmonary artery isn't, it didn't grow on its own. So they build a pulmonary artery on its own. The surgery seemed to have worked, but her heart wasn't functioning like it should have. No, it wasn't happy. So when she came back from the hospital or from surgery that day, um, she came back on ECMO, which is a machine that does the work of your heart and your lungs. So she spent the next 50 days on ECMO. We spent a lot of time working on getting fluid off of her body. Um, her kidneys were very angry. She had two different brain bleeds. Um, she had so much swelling in her arm that she had to get something called a fasciotomy. So basically they had to just cut her arm open to reduce the swelling to prevent um, the muscle in her arm from dying. She had to go on dialysis, two different kinds of dialysis. 
she went through a lot. So they did maternity photos for us, I believe at 32 weeks, just because of the unknown certainty of preeclampsia. They also did newborn photos of Harper um, before she had surgery. She had end-of-life photos the day that she died. Even if we were to bring her home and, you know, she were to be, were to be here, it's still something that you want, you know, because it's still part of their journey, regardless of, you know, the outcome, you know. Unfortunately, I had a gut feeling, and a lot of this could be just because of everything that happened with Graham, that I only had so much limited time with Harper. I didn't, I only have very few professional photos of Graham that I wanted as many photos of Harper that we could have. So, you know, all the pictures that we have of Harper are very, you know, very important to us. Mm -hmm. We will cherish them forever. You know, they were her funeral photos. They, you know, are the very few things that we get to cherish forever. You know, when Connie opened up her gym and she offered her, you know, class on Tuesdays for recipients, that helps because, you know, you, you can put your anger towards something. It's more than just the photos. There's the events that you can do, the people that are there to help support you, the other moms that have lost their babies that are there, the other dads that are there too. Everybody is there to hold your hand and help support you in the process of everything. We're not alone. No. Our kids are everything to us and most people get to you know, take them to the park and take them, you know, go do things. And I get to pull out my phone and I get to show them pictures of my kids instead of taking them and, you know, presenting them. The photos are everything because it's all I have. So the fact that On Angel Swings gave me these photos is everything because it's all we have.